I live in Falmouth. I am eight years old. And my name is Lucas Dennison. Luke is my son. He is my fourth child out of seven. He was born with no fingers on his left hand. Um, it's called Simbi Brachydactyly. Um, it's developed in the womb. It doesn't hold him back. I had my first hand that my dad made, my second hand, my third hand, my fourth hand, and my fifth hand, which is this, the fifth one is this one. Now that I have this hand, I can like bring it to school and show it off. They think it's really cool, and I tell them that um, my dad made it. He loves every time we I tell him, you know, hey, we've got a new hand to print out, and he can't wait to get his hand hands on it, literally. He loves to pick and choose his colors. Um, you know, asks me, you know, can you make this this color, this color? Can we do this with it? Can we do that? So he's, he gets involved in the process too, very much. Luke is, is a perfect example of how the community works. Enable is a wonderful worldwide organization. Um, we have over 5,000 volunteers across the globe. We 3D print and donate free of charge assisted hand devices to kids and adults. Parents can download the files themselves and 3D print them, or they can come to Enable and we'll find somebody either local or somebody that's willing to print and mail the parts for them. Simplicity is key when we're working on these ones, and they're for children and adults that have a partial wrist, but they are missing most of their hands and fingers, and they're able to still do this motion. Um, and it's that motion, when they bend the wrist, that it makes the fist. If something breaks, you can just print out a new part right on the spot. One of the things I love to do with them is theme them out. I was always a big comic book fan as a kid. I printed some safe Velcro plastic Wolverine claws, um, which has been a hit everywhere I take it, um, schools and events. And of course, um, Captain America, and then the Iron Man one is always big with, with kids. The first time I built a hand for a child and I saw him picking something up, it stuck with me for weeks. It was the most amazing feeling. And that's why I continue to do what I do, because every time I build one for a child, it's like, okay, you know, who's next? It feels good to know that having the printer, having the resources available through the community, that, you know, being able to print this out, this, I made this for him. And it, it does feel really good. <laughs>